this video, we will introduce you to a common serial communication interface used by microcontrollers to exchange information, the Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, or UART. Let's take a look at what a UART is one word at a time. First, UARTs are universal. That is, the UART serial communication peripheral is a universal standard that everyone uses. This would be analogous to a common language that everyone in the world understands. It sure would make communication a lot easier. Next, UART peripherals are asynchronous in nature. That is, the peripheral does not use a common clock signal to synchronize two microcontrollers that are communicating with each other. For a moment, let's look back at the diagram that shows you how to connect two microcontrollers via a UART interface. There are two lines to send and receive the data, but that's it. With asynchronous communication, no additional clock line is required. As shown here, other synchronous serial communication peripherals often require a clock or timing signal to be exchanged between the microcontrollers to coordinate their operation. This clock signal is not required for the asynchronous UART. Finally, the UART peripheral can be used for both transmitting information to the outside world and receiving messages from the outside world. You can think of this essentially as a telephone. You can both talk and hear at the same time. Peripherals used a long time ago often be used just for transmitting data or receiving data. But with the advent of the UART, however, essentially all communication peripherals can now both send and receive information at the same time. In the attached handout, we'll take you through all the steps necessary to set up your MSP430 FR6989 microcontrollers UART peripheral to both send and receive data. By the time you're done, your microcontroller will be able to communicate with almost any other microcontroller that you can wire it up to. Please let us know if you have any questions, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching.